Hi everyone, my name is Fatma and I review all things beauty that includes makeup, skincare and sometimes hair care and nails. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post, which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Today's video is going to be on the Wishful Skin Thirst Trap Juice Serum. It's a hyaluronic acid serum that has hyaluronic acid and peptides in it that promises to hydrate the skin, soothe the skin, give you a luminous glow and firmness and plumpness to the skin so uh, watch ahead i'm going to leave a timestamp for the review to start if you want to jump ahead to the likes and dislikes immediately if not then keep watching where i'm going to show you how i applied it how much i applied it and a few other things about this serum so my face is all um, cleansed. I just did a water cleanse and then I followed it up with Azarex AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. And that's the only thing I use for my uh, chemical exfoliation. Now I'm ready to go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Wishful. So this is like a, a hologramish, holographic kind of um, um, packaging. It looks pretty cool it's like it's like light shines on it it's like a very beautiful lilac color so anyway take a few drops okay and i'm going to spread that around like this and pat it in focusing around my nose because that's where i am super flaky and then also pat it on around my neck and then i lock in the hydration with whatever a moisturizer it is that i'm using um at the time these days i'm using the summer friday's cloud dew moisturizer i'll have the link of the review over here if you guys want to check that out and um let's so let's just talk about um this product and what it claims so it's supposed to have um three versions of hyaluronic acid to kind of give you maximum kind of hydration possible so other uh, highlighted ingredients that it has are um, peptides which are um, which is an ingredient that helps with the firmness of the skin and more youthfulness uh, the tightness but not in a bad way in a good way and um, aloe vera which again for hydration and moisture and then hollyhock rose which i'm not sure what it does but it might be for um the addition of a little bit of scent in there i don't know there might be some other uses for it uh, i'm not sure but um that makes it a really nice uh, combination um, i've been using this product for the past one month a little over a month and i've been using it three times a day because i wash my face three times a day and it's usually the first step or the second step in my skincare routine so if i'm not using um, a chemical exfoliant or a facial mist then i would just wash my face and go in with uh, just this and if I'm doing a facial spray or this uh, or the toner that I just talked about, then this would be maybe the second stage or the uh, second step or the third step in my routine. And when I started using this, my skin was at a very bad point uh, because my skin dries up a lot in the winter and I get a lot of flakiness all around, not just like on my nose, but all around like in random patches, like over here sometimes, sometimes on my forehead or whatever. So my skin was pretty um crazy in terms of uh dryness and flakiness so i have to say that it really helped uh and I, I mean it's not the only thing that i've been using i've been using a couple uh more things but this has worked wonders and that is the only reason that i bought this serum was because first of all it was new and second it was hydrating and i wanted the hydration usually i'm not some somebody who needs to get a humectant serum on a daily basis like for uh like in summers or something but it's only the winter that has got me like really really um intense so it's supposedly by the name of a thirst trap uh juice yeah, that's the name. Yeah. Thirst trap juice. For by the name of it, it is basically the 
juice or the the liquid that is in their thirst trap sheet mask i haven't tried that mask because it's a bit, like, a bit expensive for just one sheet mask so i didn't try it but i've heard a lot of good things about it so um that's why i was like you know what let me just try this because um whatever my skin is going through a serum is going to help it much more than a sheet mask can now that i've told you how i've been using it and um like a little bit of background as to why i was using it let's talk about my likes first so first of all i love the packaging it is so beautiful it's like you know and it looks like an ordinary bottle but then when it shines a little different it's like so beautiful like this lilac color i mean it's so beautiful i also like this um this kind of shape for our bottles it's not unique but it's unique to me because um usually the serums and the stuff that i have they're all like cylindrical and i don't have a rectangular one yet and this is kind of a nice addition it, it helps with the grip too i guess i also love how hydrating it is it is like an instant boost of hydration right from the moment you apply it not just um over the course of the month but right from the first application it felt really hydrating and really soothing um because my skin was so agitated i was getting breakouts i was getting a lot of flakiness it was so intense it was so crazy so this has really really helped it a lot and not just hydrated but also soothed it there definitely is a slight firm firmer feeling to the skin when you apply it it's not like super intense like you cannot move your face at all but it's like a slight bit of firmness to the skin and uh, so you cannot expect drastic results from it and when it comes to firmness but from what i've been using it there has been a difference a slight difference but there has been a difference it's not dramatic but it is something i also love the ingredients the other ingredients that it has like niacinamide which is a fan favorite of every other person because it, uh, it works on so many different skin types um as well as caffeine which is supposed to give your skin a bit of brightness as well as um it helps reduce swelling and inflammation and a few other good ingredients for the skin and i'm going to have it listed over here because i cannot pronounce them but they are good for your skin because it helps soothe the skin and also for a healthier skin barrier i also love how you don't need to overuse this product just to get a good result i've been using it like the way i showed you maybe that much or maybe a little bit lesser than that and it has been sufficient enough for my entire face my neck and the back of my neck as well so and i've used and i've been using it three times a day over the past month and a little bit more than a month actually and i still have i don't know if you can see it but I still have like two thirds of this product left. So yeah, you can see that over here. Like I, I still have two thirds of this product left. So a, a month takes like maybe one third of this product. It obviously depends on how you're using it. But if you're using it as much as I'm using it, then this is going to be like this, um, like I showed you. But if you're using it maybe two times a day or when as you need it then it's gonna last you much longer obviously so since there's two-thirds of it still left and i and i've been using it for a month i it's safe to say that it can last you at least three months this one bottle is gonna last you three months if you're using it the way i'm using it which is a lot <laughs> like three times a day is a lot so i think that's not too bad considering because usually my products the the serums that i have which are one ounce they usually last me somewhere from a month to maybe a month and a half or something so it's pretty amazing that this is lasting me a lot more than my um other serums there also isn't a lot of scent in this product like there's a very tiny hint of a scent um if any at all uh, it smells a little bit like um i don't know if you've used that before but it's uh miss spa um bee venom sheet mask that's exactly how it smells like that liquid inside it it's one of my uh favorite sheet masks and I don't mind the scent either. It's not like a, like an intense scent at all. So that's a uh, an improvement from a Wishful and Huda Beauty uh, in general because a lot of people complain about the brands being too um, heavily scented, and this is definitely not um, heavily scented at all. So it makes for a very nice, luxurious experience overall. 
overall my skin feels so much more healthy than it was um, the, at the time I started using this so I'm very pleased with this product now let's move on to my dislikes which isn't a lot uh, there's just one dislike actually kind of two dislikes um, the first being that it is quite expensive for a serum that ha that concentrates on hyaluronic acid but it's definitely cheaper than uh, the majority of products out there like um, it's maybe one of the cheaper ones but uh, when it comes to high-end brands but it's still a, a big price to pay for a hyaluronic acid serum but if you count how long it lasts and how the longevity is and everything i think it's an okay price but uh, anyway we're going to discuss that in the pricing when i tell you that um the other thing that i don't i'm not crazy about is this dropper so what i'm used to is like that you know squeezy ones that you just you know just squeeze and uh, product is dispensed but over here, this one is like you have to push it to pick up product and dispense product which is okay there's a learning curve to it i guess if you're not used to it but it's a little bit annoying for me because sometimes because most of the times when i'm applying my serums i have the bottle in my hands like this and that's how i like you know i squeeze it and i just get the product and then i put it back in like this I just i have it right over here like just one and done kind of thing so it makes it a little harder for me to dispense the product with this button thingy which but it is okay because it's not a huge deal breaker obviously anyway <laughs> those were my only dislikes from this product um you can find this at sephora for 47 dollars <laughs> yes 47 dollars for uh this one ounce I do think that the pricing is a, is quite high. However, if you're comparing um, high-end brands, then this is definitely one of the more uh, reasonable um, options out there. And if you consider how long it's gonna last you, like it's gonna last you probably three months. So if you're considering how long it's lasting you, like it's, it's, it's still reasonable because you're buying this only after like, um every other month or uh, every three months or whatever you know what i mean um or if you're somebody who gets only dry in the winter like me i get super dry in the winter and i'm super not super oily but fairly oily in the summer then you can just like buy it for the winter and just it's gonna be you know enough one bottle is gonna be enough for three months so i think that's still pretty okay so for that reason only, I'm okay with purchasing it again because I can't economize with it, if you know what I mean. So one, getting this once a year is not that big of a deal, it's not that big of a problem for me. So I am going to repurchase it. Uh, I do recommend this to other people as well, especially those people who have a harder time in the winter. This is really going to help you out. It's... Um, a really good formula it's not a unique formula it's not something that's not done before like it's it's not something that's completely unique no of course not there are a lot of different hyaluronic acid serums out there but this is going to be a really good one to use um because it's going to help your dryness with an all-around kind of approach like your redness your dryness your flakiness um and you know your spots and everything as well so if you're interested in this, if you were considering to buy this, I would suggest that you do buy this. If you do not have the uh, the budget for this and uh, if you want a similar kind of experience, not the same, but similar kind of experience, you can check out the Inky List Collagen Booster Serum. It has uh, peptides and um, hyaluronic acid. If you want to get, uh, get a similar kind of thing that has peptides and hyaluronic acid, then that is a good uh, option. I'm recommending that specifically because it's something that I've used in the past and I don't anymore because I don't feel like I need to. I have... Uh, um, those kind of ingredients in my other products but the point is that there are different options if you don't want to buy this or if this is too expensive for you but this is a good product i am not gonna say that it's not worth it it is kind of worth its price but again it's not uh like a must-have product if you are not interested in it or if you do not if you cannot purchase this it's totally fine there are other options much cheaper options even if you want a higher end brand you just don't want to spend this much there's also i think um glow recipes 
uh, hyaluronic acid serum which is the plump plump serum uh, I'm, i think it's around 42 dollars so it's a five dollars or something cheaper than this one but i i haven't tried that so i don't know how good it is um you can let me know in the comments if you've tried it and how good that is and whether i should try that out too if not then this is a good product to have let's leave it there <laughs> now let's talk about my uh, rating breakdown so first of all performance i'm going to give it a whole point because this has been a huge factor in changing my skin from uh hopelessly flaky to kind of normal actually not kind of normal but close to normal because i do have these spots that i need to get rid of but this is not gonna do everything for me anyway uh and then there is pricing um i know it's a little bit high on the price but the performance and everything it does kind of balance it out uh especially how long it can last so i'm gonna give it a 0.75 out of one for longevity and convenience, I'm going to give it a whole point because it is it is super long lasting. It's going to this one bottle is going to last me three months. I don't think that there's anything more to say more to add to that. <laughs> so a whole point. Definitely uh, for recommendation and repurchase. I'm going to give it a 0.75 because even though I would purchase it again and I do recommend this I don't recommend this to everybody. It's not a must-have product It's not a product that if you don't get your hands on your life will be incomplete It won't be there are other options out there cheaper and much cheaper as well. So um, a 0.75 on the recommendation and repurchase for special features. I'm going to give it a whole point because not only do I love the packaging, I love the ingredients, I love the feeling, I love everything about it. That brings my total Felicia score to a 4.5 out of a 5 and that's just it. I mean, it's such a good product and I would definitely be purchasing it um, in the next winter. I think I'm set for this winter. I'm not going to be repurchasing it in, during the summers because I don't need it, um, but definitely for the winter. Definitely. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Stay tuned for next week where I'm going to review the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer or stick around and watch one of my older videos.